It's not super bad or anything, and not usually during an actual conversation. I don't know if I'm missing anything. I linked the list of symptoms, but it's in a group on FetLife of all places. Uh, oh. Okay. Welp. Welp, welp, welp. FetLife. Study uncovers potential link between autism and the fear of being laughed at. I can't read that garbage. J10, J10, J10. Enemy J10 spotted. Yep. Oh, Battlefield 2. What is balance? There is no balance. It is a trick question. I like how Soviet Winnie the Pooh asks his friend Piglet, Hey Piglet, do you have a gun? And Piglet answers, Of course I do. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. The Black Panthers will be proud. That Bizarro. box is called the State of Permanent Revolution, and yet another reason why the Soviet Union was superior to the United States. Piglet would so use that gun to slaughter some monarchists if he got the chance. Damn it, crack right in my throat. Yeah, but the Soviet Union didn't have, like, good computers, so we wouldn't ha So if they won the Cold War, we wouldn't have Battlefield 3. We just have to be Battlefield 3 in real life against well, the imperialists. Given how horribly buggy. The Battlefield games are. I, I feel like we would have something like Battlefield with horse graphics. Have you considered how awesome Russian game developers are? It, it, yes, in fact, it would be like. And if you considered all of their games, Soldner, <laughs> and if right? you considered all of their games are buggy pieces of shit. Yup. But then again, so are Dice's. Bingo. Dice is Swedish, though. That's like almost Finnish, which is almost Russian. We're not saying they're the same in terms of nationality or culture, we're just saying they're nearly equal in terms of bugs. They're all European. Are you implying that non philosophy. that non Americans are full of bugs? That's racist. I, I'm offended by this. Oh, uh, American games are pretty buggy too, bro. Yeah, just not in the same way. And a lot of American games are just shits. Yep. I mean, you know, you gotta admit all around modern, shit. the Call of Duties are not Nowhere as buggy as the battlefields, although the but bugs they are shit. still really bad. But and they're shit. You're yeah, forgetting the whole shit things. part. Female sexual arousal can cause a swelling of the breast tissue by as much as 25 percent. Ball? No, it can't. This is this is actually discussed in the video game Police Knots when. Um, uh, what? I've seen the <laughs> <Rose. laughs> plenty of times, and I've never seen them increase in size, I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I missing something? Uh, One well. doujinshi manga, don't ask, lolly everywhere. So basically people are gonna ask because TV jokes. <laughs> so basically this man is admitting to being a pedophile. Mm -hmm. And nobody cares, because it's TV tropes. Because it's TV tropes. Well, TV Tropes sort of cares. They make fun of pedophiles. Uh, Not just yeah. any no Lolly manga. No one cares manga. if you've read it. A Lolly manga with a girl who keeps getting her boobs enhanced. I don't get it. What is well, this? Why does this exist? No longer Lolly. So, clearly, the, the Japanese are redefining the boundaries of genres. Pregnancy can cause breast growth. Bonus points because they also get tasty. Thank you, TV tropes. Thank oh you. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to say to that. I have nothing to but say. But you know, honestly, I have to say, guys, Soviet Winnie Pooh is far more creative and intelligent than the Disney version. Yeah, Deal that goes without it. saying, but you know, <laughs> pretty Disney's much. Winnie the Pooh is like nothing like the books anyway, so. Soviet Winnie the Pooh is insane. In a good way. A serious question for you. If you hear me out. They should ask the developers of Stalker to make a Soviet Winnie the Pooh game. CBXA, do you have the experience with women? 
What? No, why? I need to know why my girlfriend's nipples were so hard tonight before I started I wouldn't know. Wouldn't it's because she's actually a man. Well, then I would care. No, that would explain it. How about, you know, you stop being a spurred lord and ask her or mention it or... Nah. To be fair, there are some questions if they betray so you. So use the film That are embarrassing to ask, I'm sure. Yes, my Russian co uh, FIFA not FIFA uh, 2012 arrived. So what's different with the Russian? Why are FIFA? you buying gay shitty soccer games all of a sudden? Because it owns. Is FIFA and bad? I thought it was good. Uh, no, I can get it. I got. It, I can get it half off from Soviet Russia. Oh, oh that's why. All soccer bad. games are bad. Soccer is a shitty sport. Soccer is the sport of people. Yeah. What ball is the sport of the people? The real football, the football, the football of kings. Well, you see, one so of those can football, be played... So what football are you talking about? Right? I mean, the name soccer came from association football. Right, but I'm talking about real football, the football for men. What is real football? But you see, uh, American, American football, football requires American hundreds football and hundreds of dollars in specialized American equipment, you mean American whereas... Rugby, which they call football for no reason. No American football, which is a wholly different sport from rugby. Well, it's American rugby. It's basically rugby, but with a different ball and with all sorts of protection. You should just stop talking. And a different field size. Hey. Yada yada yada. The, everyone knows the greatest sport and in the world. Play it. Everyone knows the greatest sport in the world is Australian football, so. Maybe you're being racist. Well, this round is almost mercifully over of six on six. Being pushed off Alan constantly. Although, you know, I'm really fucking sick of hearing about Tim fucking Tebow already. God, I wish he would die in a fucking fire. Why? Tebow, you. Tebow put in a mediocre performance against the worst team in the NFL, and they call him a true gamer. Dramatic late game heroics on a wild day in South Florida. Dramatic late game. Undeniable Tim Tebow trait, which is, I guess, being a shitty quarterback and being, being the a worst bad quarterback and being really, really Christian. Apparently, my mouse you was forgot. not inverted. You forgot, of course, the Tim Tebow trait, which they don't want to mention, but they do, using their being dog a, whistle. Being the biggest, being such a big Christian asshole that even uh, Colt McCoy no. can't stand him? No. Being white. <gasps> that is a new in this, ball, in this an world of dog, ball. In this world of dog See, killer quarterbacks. The thing is, is Michael Vick had a much more impressive comeback last year. And it got passingly mentioned by the announcers. My Tebow dad puts still in a hates mediocre. Tebow literally completed two passes at the end of a game, one of which was a lucky touchdown. And he's a true gamer with heart and grit and determination. Not like that darky Vic. Well, there's the whole dog fighting thing. Yeah, yeah I don't think the issue was with Vic being a darky. I think there have been lots of very famous black football players. Such as, um... Yes, uh, there Bo have been Jackson. lots of famous black football players, but yet it's always assumed that they're all wild and uncontrollable and dangerous, and they are not true leaders with now, heart I don't and think determination any... needed to be football captains. Now, I don't think they've said that about Josh Freeman, because he is considered white. And he's also not really that good, but whatever. Um... Excuse me. Oh, snap. Well, I might as well practice flying for a bit. You know, there is only one team in the NFL worth rooting for, and that is the Green Bay Packers. Because they're communists. Yep. The socialist football team owned by the people.
you know the Green Bay Packers are literally a non-profit corporation and are actually forbidden to make a profit? It's your no Josh Green throwing more interceptions than touchdowns this year. Any money that they make has to go into either stadium renovations or charity projects. Would anybody like to play Defcon? You mean, uh, Fist of Alls kill all white people the video game? The Green Bay Packers prove that socialism is inevitably superior to capitalism. Listen to the really, I thought they proved it. that, uh... I thought they proved that Brett Favre was really annoying. Hey, Brett Favre played good for a lot of years, but then he, uh... I think the, the cumulative head trauma from all of his seasons in the NFL eventually got to him. I mean, if you had had that many concussions, you probably wouldn't be in a very good state of mind either. Remember when? Remember when everyone was like, "Why are the football players striking just for more money so they can spend on crappy healthcare?" When that didn't happen, that's pretty pro. See, uh, if you actually looked at the facts, it was good that this lockout happened in the era of the internet because there were people out there who could actually show the real facts. I know people who still think that the. I mean, first off. First off, the NFL players, the football players, didn't get any more money from the lockout. I mean, and secondly, it wasn't a fucking strike. It was a lockout. They wanted to play. The owners wouldn't let them. I know people who still think that the NBA and NFL things are strikes and they need to get rid of their goddamn union so they can go back to playing football and basketball. Yeah, it's funny because the NFL lockout was not a strike. Nope. The NFLPA literally came out and said right away that we will play under the current collective bargaining agreement for another year, so we'll have time to negotiate. We want to play, just lift the lockout, and we'll do it. It's because Roger Goodell is a really bad coach.